Disturbing new information on 8 News Now, an investigation into a senior citizen apartment building that we initially discovered had no working elevator. We thank you for staying with us here at 630. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Now, residents calling that building a death trap because the elevator would not work. And today, we found out their problems are worse than we thought. Investigator Kyle Payne was at the complex late this afternoon. And Kyle, there is some good news. The elevator now apparently works. Denise, Brian, it does. As you can see behind me, uh, and the residents confirmed as much on Wednesday. My colleague Vanessa Murphy reported on their elevator preventing those senior citizens from getting up and down the floors. As of this afternoon, even though the elevator works, there are still some problems. I have back problems. Those yeah. back problems make it especially difficult for Patricia Samuels to get up and down the stairs here at the Pecos Senior Apartments, where residents say they've gone at least a week with no working elevator. In the heat of summer, in the end of what was the hottest July on record. Whenever we go shopping, we have to bring their groceries up by hand through the stairwell, and that, that's very uh, uncomfortable. The other residents are uncomfortable, too. As you can see in this complaint, one of them wrote to the state agency responsible for permitting elevators, saying they've been trapped in their apartments during fire alarms, calling it a death trap. And the 8 News Now investigators have uncovered that two elevators in the complex failed inspection in May and do not have permits. Both of them have failing doors, and one of them also failing due to an oil leak. All of a sudden, my vision just went out on me. I don't see nothing. Stella lives in the building and can't make her way down the stairs because she can't see. So she also didn't see the sign management put up saying the elevator is busted. The Americans with Disability Act says it allows for, quote, isolated temporary interruptions, which this is not. Very uh, hard. Very difficult. I checked with Clark County to see if they have any open building violations, and they do not. I caught up with the mechanic this afternoon. He could not, would not speak to me, but uh, said the elevator in question is working. And then I saw him go into another building. 